So, okay, so you, you can imagine two consequences of that. One would be that support for Putin within the country vanishes and the demonstrations that we've already seen start to increase in scope. And I suppose the other possibility is, you know, bombing people into submission, so to speak, often produces much more resistance than anyone attempts or it intends or assumes. And so is there any possibility that these sanctions might backfire and increase support for Putin? Or do you think the disintegration into chaos uh, possibility is, is more probable? The sanctions are... So the, the last thing that I want to flag for you, which is part of our own self-reflection on why we got it wrong, is we assumed that Putin would prepare his people for a big war. We assumed mm -hmm. that before he attacked, he would have spent days, if not weeks, telling his people basically that he was going to have to fight a big war and here's why and that they were going to suffer but it was going to be necessary and good for them and yep. he did the exact opposite as he was getting ready to invade the russian officials were lampooning the west as we kept saying that he's about to invade they were talking to the russian people and laughing at us and saying look at these stupid westerners who think we're going to invade that's ridiculous um, he did nothing to prepare his people for this war. And that's been evident. And the protests that you're seeing and the word that is coming out, even from the sectors near Kharkiv, from near the border near Kharkiv, where the Russians concentrated all of these forces. I've seen Western interviews uh, with talking to Russians near the border who saying we had no idea. We were shocked when this thing kicked off. So he's done mm -hmm. nothing to prepare his people for the war, which is why... Have you ever seen anything like these no. demonstrations? Okay, so let's, we could talk about that a little bit, because it's not like we're accustomed to seeing demonstrations in Russia. Not on this scale. I, I, that's not a thing. Not on and this so, scale. So, so how do you, you account for that, at least in part, by the fact that this is a terrible shock to people and that they can see that it's going to cost them. They feel betrayed by this, but also... It's no trivial thing to demonstrate in a place like Russia. I mean, that's right. You put you put yourself at some risk here, but not very much by doing that. But there, right. it's it's like he's reportedly already arrested sixteen hundred people for demonstrating, and those people are certainly having a very hard time of it in prison, um, and will probably never emerge again. I would I would predict, and he's I think he's going to have to get in the business of killing a lot of Russians um, if this protracts. They're not going to blame us. We are not going to be the target of the anger for the sanctions and the economic suffering at this point. But it's it's not just the sanctions. And I want to be clear about this. This And this is the other part of why I thought he'd have to prepare his people. Lots of polls show that Russians see America as an enemy and a threat and all of that kind of stuff. He spent 20 years getting Russians uh, to believe that. And of course, there's the Soviet hangover of a lot of comfort in Russia, uh, you know, it, believing that. Russians have not seen Ukraine as an enemy. And all mm -hmm. of the language mm -hmm. that he's been using about these are our fraternal Slavic brothers and they, we need to bring them back to the fold and all of that kind of stuff. That's been the messaging. And he's been talking about, you know, we need to remove this illegal junta that's in Kiev. He's got a whole narrative about how this really isn't a war against right, the right. Ukrainian people. Russians now are not that stupid. Now it is. They're blowing mm -hmm. up apartment blocks and stuff. Now he's trying to keep that from his people. But again, Russians are not that stupid. And they are they are understanding that this is a war against Ukraine. And that a lot of Russians, I think, are just, why are we fighting Ukraine? Why are we attacking Ukraine? You tell me the Americans are the enemy. So okay. insofar, insofar as they are their Slavic brothers, this is now tantamount to a civil war. Right. right. And, right. And, if yeah. that narrative was originally true. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's it, he's just he's totally failed to prepare anybody informationally for this. And that is one of the things that is generating this this outrage in Russia over this unprovoked war of aggression against a, a, a brother Slavic state that did not attack Russia and wasn't threatening Russia and where there are no Americans. Because, again, you could I even mean, you could tell the Russian people that the Americans are the threat, but there are no Americans in Ukraine. We're not fighting Americans in Ukraine. 